Well, I am John Peters. I am the marketing director here at New Air. Uh, today we are exhibiting at uh, PitCon and we are showing our brand new CO2 incubator as well as our lines of polypropylene casework and fume hoods, which is basically a, a plastic casework or fume hood for corrosive labs, anything uh, really acidic, high chemical usage. Uh, as well as custom biological safety cabinets for liquid handlers, uh, any large piece of machinery. And this is our new in vitro cell line of direct heat CO2 incubators. There are seven different models in the lineup. All have different controls from oxygen suppression for hypoxic conditions, relative humidity control, or even uh, dual sterilization cycles. So this is the new touch control system. It is a color touchscreen 5x7 very easy to use, very user friendly. So here you're gonna show off your temperature, CO2. This unit has humidity control as well as oxygen suppression. So if you're ever curious about what something is on this system, you can simply push temperature. It'll tell you what it actually is. Like this is telling you it's temperature control. If you ever need to change your set points, it's very simple. You just click on whatever you want. Here is showing your set points for temperature, CO2, humidity, and oxygen. So you just click on that, enter in your set point, usually you're right around 37 degrees Celsius. Hit enter, there you go. And down here you have uh, a little extra control for heater controls. So this will help cut down on any type of contamination. So it's very easy and simple to use. Here are all your controls on the inside, so your set points. A nice thing is you actually have a historical performance monitor, so it'll actually give you a readout and give you a graphic display of temperature and temperature history. So you have a black line, that's your set point, and then the red line is actually your measure point. So you can see here that, you know, if you're away for the night, if there's any large spike in activity, you can tell whether your samples have been affected or not. So, and the nice last thing is your decon sterilization cycle. It gives you two options. So the interior of the chamber will heat up to 145 degrees Celsius dry, runs about a 10 hour cycle, very nice uh, overnight procedure. You can put it on a delay, so once you leave for the night, it'll turn on by itself and operate itself. Um, now the humidified is you actually leave water inside the water pan, and then it'll heat up to 95 degrees Celsius uh, humidified, and it's about a 14 hour procedure. Now the interior of the chamber, and what we're really trying to do with this unit, is what we have our constant contamination control system. So we are making a mini clean room uh, similar to an ISO class 5 clean room on the inside of the chamber. Uh, it is maintained at positive pressure. Here are your HEPA filters. So very easy access to your HEPA filters, very easy to change, very easy to, uh, to have maintenance. So it is a large interior chamber, seven cubic feet or 200 liters. Uh, come standard with four shelves, but have the, uh, the option for 21 shelves. In conclusion, this has been our brand new in vitro cell line of CO2 incubators. And we really try to focus on the five parameters from CO2 control, temperature, temperature control, humidity, sterility, contamination control, as well as reliability. So the unit that we've created uh, creates the perfect in, in vitro environment for researchers, making it user friendly, very reliable, and it's making the everyday laboratory technician uh, a master in research, since it's such an easy unit to operate.